Hello. Hey, Mike. How are you? Good. Good to see you. For Michael Meyer, helping kids stay in the classroom means hand delivering COVID-19 tests to school leaders like Ludlow Independent Superintendent Mike Borchers. Just yesterday, we had a child who's you know going in the first grade, and we test him, and he's able to stay in school. That's so powerful compared to all of a sudden being in quarantine for 10 days. I mean, this is a big deal. The big deal, says Meyer, is that the company he works for, Gravity Diagnostics, and at least one other local testing company are involved in a two-week-old program called Test to Stay. The goal is to keep kids in class, even if they've been exposed to a case of COVID at school, by testing them repeatedly for free. I think it's going really well. Borcher says more than 80 students in Ludlow were in quarantine just a few weeks ago. Today, the number of quarantines linked to COVID exposures at school is down to zero. First, we thought we'd have to have a big stage area, but we've been averaging about eight a test a day. So far, almost every one of our students who's had the, fat, the um, rapid test has been negative and they get to go to class. In the much larger Kenton County School District, quarantines dropped by about 100 in the days after the program's launch. Knock on wood, we haven't had any calls yet. We haven't had to be tested through test to stay yet. Trina Edwards has two young sons at Kenton County Schools. She enrolled them both in the program because test to stay simplifies the process of figuring out who's COVID positive and who's not. A little swab up the nose, it's fine with them if, that, if it means that they get to stay in school. You know, before, actually late this afternoon, Kenton County School leaders updated their test to stay guidelines. Before today, kids who were a part of the program had to quarantine at home. They could be in school, but when they went home, they needed to quarantine. As of now, those students who voluntarily take part in the program here in the Kenton County School District can now take part in extracurricular activities, including sports. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.